Good morning, buenos dias. It is 11.15 in the morning. Son las 11.15 in la mañana. It's almost noontime, but that's okay. My camera's moving. Today is the start of a very exciting video that I've been wanting to do for a long time and a lot of you guys have asked me on Instagram to do. And that is... What do we want to call this? Me reviewing my top three favorite coffee shops in Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna give you the lowdown, the breakdown, what, why I like it, the coffee, the pricing of the coffee, the ambiance, the aesthetic, the workability, practicality, is there Wi-Fi, is there not Wi-Fi? All of that stuff, I'm gonna break it down for you. And a little backstory, since I moved here, I have been to about 10 different coffee shops. I've tested them out all that and today we are going to start with wayward coffee let's just first talk about the coffee in itself so this is what i order it's called the gold rush and when i first went to wayward i would always get a vanilla latte with oat milk because i'm basic like that and i feel like that's a great way to kind of test out if a coffee shop is legit based on like the most basic drink ever which is a vanilla latte with any type of milk but i like oat milk and when i first got that amazing loved it you know like better than like a lot of other vanilla lattes that i've had i had some pretty crappy ones ain't gonna lie but i was hearing about this gold rush drink and i noticed how when i would like chill read a lot of people that would order would get the gold rush and so i was like let me just try it out and you know see if i like it so i got an ice gold rush with oat milk and i was in heaven hold up sip time every time the sip just keeps getting better and better well, let me explain you what this goodness is right here it has vanilla after that honey and cinnamon the combination it doesn't get better than that right when you walk in you'll instantly see that you're surrounded by plants and inspirational quotes which is very motivating and they also have wi-fi so they make it even more convenient for you to enjoy yourself or get some work done there are a bunch of tables so if you want to sit by yourself there's a cute little windowsill or if you want to sit with a group of people they have the perfect community table i do love reading here and honestly just jamming out to their playlist because they always have the best playlist and guys they have inspo quotes in the baño so you can get inspired while doing your business. The sips just keep getting better. Sorry, my AC is blowing. My camera overheated, which I didn't know that was possible till I moved to Texas. Like my phone overheats all the time. If I'm using my phone for maps and playing music at the same time in the spam of like two to three minutes, sorry, I'll turn my AC down a little bit. In the, sp in the spam of two to three minutes, my phone overheats and so my camera does too which kind of sucks but I don't even know what I was talking about I already have a clip where I kind of taste tested it on the porch there's people around me and when I first tasted it I was like this is you know it's strong coffee, I don't really taste lavender, but I feel like it's on the bottom. So what I did is I went back into the store, I got a straw, okay. Okay, it's different. I haven't had lavender in a while, I like lavender. So to give you guys a little insight about what's in this latte, it's basically lavender, vanilla, organic espresso milk. I got oat milk, because I just always get oat milk. They have the cutest sleeves. If you're ever having a gloomy day, please go to La La Land because I promise you, the minute you walk in, you will instantly have a smile on your face because you are surrounded by the bright color yellow and the sweetest employees that engage with you and seem like they genuinely like their job. Like this guy making the matcha right here, he was dancing when I walked in, which made me feel really happy. It made me want to dance too, honestly. It is very spacious, so great indoor and outdoor seating if you want to grab coffee with a girlfriend and grab some merch on the way out. They have cute merch with butterflies on it, and the butterfly emoji is my favorite emoji. I haven't figured out what's my favorite drink yet. 
but they do have a very wide menu like there's so many drinks I want to try the other one I was gonna possibly get but they only make it hot is the campfire latte and that one I mean it's in the name itself campfire so you know think of s'mores so it had like a marshmallow toasted marshmallow vanilla cacao graham crackers organic espresso and your choice of milk <laughs> excuse me I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Hey guys, today is day three of showing you guys my top three favorite coffee shops in Dallas. And today we are going to go to Davis and I'm so excited to show you this coffee place. I feel like it's not your basic coffee shop. There's a lot of unique things about it. And the main like fun fact that I like to share with people is they specialize in so many different things. They specialize in their own sourdough bread, their dairy, their chocolate, and they sometimes give out samples of their chocolate, like a chocolate bark, and it is freaking delicious. But there are a couple of things that are a little bit different that makes Davis unique from other coffee shops. One of them is they do not have alternative dairy. So if you guys do want like oat milk, almond milk, or any type of those other milks, they don't carry that. They only carry whole milk, but it's because they specialize in it, and it is bomb whole milk I'm an oat milk girl you guys know that but I do get like their lattes and it makes their like their hot lattes with a little bit of simple syrup it is freaking delicious <laughs> Like legit. I got a blueberry scone and a hot latte with simple syrup. And it was just like heaven in a cup. It just it's comfort. The blueberries, they're just like all their everything that all the ingredients they use, they're just so like fresh. Like the blueberries were like juicy and big and it was already like, you know, it's cooked in a scone, so you'd think it'd be all like shriveled up or, you know, not as much flavor, but the flavor of the blueberry is still extremely present. And then that latte, even though the whole milk, you know, sometimes it can make the stomach act up, but it's worth it because of how creamy and delicious and warm that latte is. I just, I can't get over it. But, and I didn't even realize legit today, I went in the alley area where I saw that they have outdoor seating and they have seating like all the way in the back. They have like this little old bus or truck looking thing that has seating in it. Like I was, Totally unaware of all this for the longest time because I always park on the main road, but there's like parking in the back. You don't want to park on the main street. Um, yeah, and the employees are always so nice here. They're super chill. They have a pantry filled with quality products that you guys can purchase. So if you're ever running low on huevos or leche, this is your place to go. It is very cozy and dim, which I love. So I love to read a book journal do your devotional and i highlight that because they do not have wi-fi here so if you're trying to do work that requires internet probably wouldn't come here but if you're trying to escape the internet get off social media for your day and just detox read a book journal come here and enjoy a hot latte with simple syrup because that's what i order here is their pantry with homemade jam and the delicious whole milk that makes the latte so creamy and then they also have their coffee beans for sale and then their chocolate which they sometimes give samples out that is delicious i didn't even know they have granola or honey either that is some random products that i saw here and they sell the cutest little tote bag that you guys can get too they have really nice bathrooms too like their bathrooms are always clean like they got that bleach they always make sure everything is clean in there which i appreciate a clean bathroom so you know like just something about a disgusting public restroom that you just want to like, uh, you know, it's not good. Hopefully you guys one day go check out Davis Street Espresso on Davis. 